Hey guys, so today is Sunday, February 18th. I just got back from church. And so before I do a recap of my um, dermatology treatment, let's rewind to November where it all started. Good morning, guys. So this morning I'm heading into um, dermatology affiliates. I am a um, meeting with dermatologist. I'm gonna start um, some skincare treatment just to pretty much like clear up some problem areas on my face, like this area, little dark spots in here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna head in for my first appointment today. Hey guys, um, so I'm in here with Sonia. I'm gonna start the micro needling today. So she's just gonna quickly explain like what all that entails. Yes, hi. So micro needling, basically what it is, it's a collagen induction therapy, and it's a treatment that will help with pigmentation issues and uh, scarring from past acne. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just like trying to clear up uh, these areas like on my cheek pretty much and is it too pain is the process like painful well you're going to feel a little discomfort we're not going to use numbing um okay. the treatment is done very quickly so um i prefer not to use the numbing at this point okay and uh it's it's it'll be quick and easy so it won't be too bad and we'll work together so okay we'll go from there all right guys here we go <laughs> So this is like pretty much bleeding, like little spots of bleeding everywhere. Pinpoint bleeding. Pinpoint bleeding. It wasn't, um, the spots that were painful was like this area, like my chin and then we got my nose, but the cheeks weren't bad. What prescriptions are you using? Um, she gave me the Retin-A. Yeah, you're not gonna use that for seven days. Okay. Okay, so none of those prescriptions medications mm -hmm. i don't want you to use any of that okay okay only what i'm giving you and then after that you can um you can use it so you really got a good um we had to go up to uh 1.4 mm -hmm. on you and then that's when you started to have the the pinpoint bleeding which is what we want for what we're treating mm -hmm. how does your skin feel um, kind of have like a burning feeling. So common side effects, um, you know, your skin's going to be sensitive. Mm -hmm. We opened up a lot of little micro channels. Right. And um, you might have, see some pinkness to the skin, some redness. Mm -hmm. Typically, uh, depending on, on the patient, you can have these uh, conditions for three to five days. And then after that, um, it subsides, you might feel a little flaky, you might get a little, uh, you know, your skin may feel dry, but this is all common, and you're just going to apply the products that I'm going to give you. Okay. You're gonna cleanse with the cleanser morning and night. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to apply the copper um, repair cream okay. morning and night. Okay. And then in the morning only, uh, the SPF. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So and I'll be it. back in four weeks. In four weeks. All right. First appointment went good, guys. See y'all in four weeks. Good morning, guys. So today is Friday, December the 15th, and I am at my second appointment for um, microneedling. So uh, it's four weeks later. Um, let me see if I can show y'all. There's not much difference in my face right now. I know it's a six month process, so it is gonna take time to see like some differences, but I am taking like before and after, um, before and after pictures to look at the progression. So hopefully soon in the next coming months, I'll start like seeing some differences. Like the spots here and all that. But yeah, let me head in now.
feeling, sweet girl? <laughs> Y'all, I'm so pasty right now. So, um, after she's done with everything, she puts sunscreen on my face. And the type that she puts on is like a pasty white thing, which is why I'm kind of looking um, ghostly right now. But this appointment, um, so this was the second one. The pain, the discomfort was a little bit more than the first one. Like in this area right here, it was really sensitive. The nose and the chin, the cheeks weren't too bad. But yeah, so done with this one. My next one will be in four weeks. But I think I'll do an update like in about two weeks to um, show you guys like how the products and stuff are working for me. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys. So I just wanted to give y'all um, a quick update like, in between appointments. So again, I'm doing um, micro needling and it's to help with some of the acne scarring that I um, developed throughout the years. And, um, you know, they do like, it's needles going in, so it's like pinpoint bleeding. So afterwards, it's really important that you're using the right products for recovery so that you get the best results. And so they gave me this um, take home kit with some products to use. So um, this is the cleanser that I'm using right here. So I would use this morning and night. And then this is the copper repair cream. I'm supposed to use this once a day, so I'll do this um, at night after I use the cleanser. And then this is um, sunscreen right here. It is SPF 60, so it's pretty strong. i um, recommended to use this every day. And this one is pretty thick and pasty as well. I have another, this is my daily moisturizer that I use, the Aveeno. Um, I did a video actually on some of the skincare products that I use, and this has sunscreen in it, SPF 30. Typically, the cleanser that I use is this, and I still rotate this in occasionally, the um, clear complexion. And then moisturizer, I still use that one in the morning, and then I use this for um, cleansing this face brush from Vanity Planet. And then also, the dermatologist um, uh, prescribed this, the tretinoin cream, and this is pretty much for um, acne prevention and breakout prevention, and this product is really, really good. Like, I'm noticing I, I'm not even having breakouts like that, but the thing is, if I go to an appointment for... If I go to an appointment for microneedling, I cannot use the tretinoin for the first 10 days. I can only use it after that. But yeah, you don't have to have acne for the tretinoin. It's really for prevention and it has been working. And so I've had two appointments so far, two out of six. The third one is coming up in about a week and a half. Um, and the esthetician said I should start seeing results, maybe uh, really seeing results like third or fourth appointment in. But I'm seeing that, I call them like craters, um, like the scars are not as deep. So I am starting to see some progress. There's still four appointments to go. So I know like from now to the end, it should be a difference. I should really see a difference. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next few appointments and seeing what the end result is gonna be like. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the next appointment. Hey guys, so I had my third appointment today. I didn't actually film anything. Um, it was super early, I had like an 8.30 a.m. appointment, but I just got back from class. And so the results after this appointment was pretty good. Um, I think I mentioned in the beginning that I was gonna be doing six sessions. It's actually four to six, and I'm gonna do four since mine is like, um, I guess not that severe with the scarring and the um, dark spots. And so in two weeks, um, I'm scheduled for a facial and a pill. It's going to help pretty much just like unclog my pores. But this is just a closer look. Um, today was the first time that she used the numbing cream because she went um, a few like levels higher with the uh, micro needling. And it was so much better than the other um, and the other appointments as far as like the level of pain since she did um, use that numbing cream. Whew. Good morning guys, it is super early, uh, 7.50 a.m. and I am at my next appointment. Um, it's actually not a micro needling appointment, it's for a facial and a chemical pill. And the appointment is so early because I had to work around my class schedule to get these appointments, appointments in. But yeah, I'm about to head in now.
Okay, just finished the facial and the chemical pill. It was so relaxing, which is why I barely like filmed anything. Like I almost fell asleep in there. I'm like she did the facial and then she did kind of like massage on the um, shoulders and um, like the arms. So the facial was really good and then she did the chemical pill. I think typically she said the chemical pill is like three rounds of that, but I only did one. So it's not gonna be like as flaky in the next few days. And pretty much the uh, facial helps with like unclogging the pores. So um, like when you apply products and things like that, it can actually get deep in there. It helps with uh, dryness and kind of giving you a glow. And then the chemical pill is just to like accelerate um, the cellular turnover process. So like the dead skin usually comes off of your face, you know, every month. So it kind of just accelerates that process. So my final appointment is actually in two weeks for the microneedling. So I'll check back in with y'all in two weeks. Bye. <laughs> So we are back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that recap of my four months of the microneedling. So yeah, my main reason for doing the treatment was a lot of the dark spots that I had and a lot of like the acne um, scarring that I had, which I described kind of like as craters. They look like craters on my face. And so microneedling is supposed to help with, you know, the acne scarring and a little bit with the um, hyperpigmentation. And I will say the scarring did go down a little bit, but... I wasn't too satisfied with my results from um, the hyperpigmentation. Um, you know, it was four sessions. You know, I guess you never really know what you can expect um, as far as results. You know, everybody's skin is going to respond differently and it depends on the level that you begin with as far as the acne scarring or the hyperpigmentation. Um, but yeah, I did my treatment with Dermatology um, Affiliates. It's here in Atlanta. They have a few different locations. I went to the one in Midtown. Um, great location. Um, the esthetician, Sonia, she was awesome. Um, Jasmine, he worked at the office, uh, he's awesome as well. And yeah, I really enjoyed my, um, you know, my treatment time there. They have, uh, excellent service. And then getting back to the results, I don't know, you know, um, microneedling is very expensive. Um, I was a tester patient, um, which means that, um, it's kind of like a new service they have. So they're testing it out on you. So, um, you know, this, they provide this service for you and, you know, it's a really big investment if you are going to go into microneedling and pay for it. And, you know, just for me, I'd, I would have liked to see better results than, you know, what I had, you know, I was really excited going into the treatment. Of course, there is a little difference difference but you know I, there's still a lot of the hyperpigmentation as i said the um scarring did go down but as far as the hyperpigmentation it's it's still there Let's give me y'all a little close up so yeah some of that that's what i would really like to see um you know go away and I'm on tretinoin. Uh, the tretinoin helps with hyperpigmentation, so I'm going to keep on uh, using that. You know, skincare and skin maintenance is like an ongoing thing. You know, um, continue to use the right facial cleansers, the right moisturizers. Um, if you're on like a tretinoin uh, type thing, continue to use that and, you know, really work on your regimen. So um, treatment isn't over as far as, you know, me still taking care of my skin, doing things like that. So it can get better as far as what the microneedling did for it. You know, it really didn't um, do too much for my hyperpigmentation, uh, but it did help some with the scarring. But I encourage you all, if you do have acne scarring, if you do have hyperpigmentation, you know, visit your dermatologist, talk to them, um, see the different services that they can provide. Um, I feel like that's the best thing and try to, instead of trying to figure it out on your own and looking online and of course do your own research, but getting, you know, the opinions and the treatment for the, from a dermatologist, I feel like that's the best option and, you know, just decide what works best for you. One thing that's important, um, always use sunscreen, you know, just protect your face and, 
definitely for if you have hyperpigmentation if you're going out in the sun every day that's gonna make those dark dark spots darker so you know I always have sunscreen you can get a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it like I use Aveeno Positively Radiant and that's SPF 30 so definitely make sure you're always using a sunscreen it doesn't matter whatever your skin tone is you should still always use it to protect your skin but if you are looking for a dermatologist um, in the Atlanta area uh, dermatology affiliates they have several offices the one I go to in Midtown I definitely recommend that one that's an awesome office um, if you need a good esthetician I recommend um, Sonia she's awesome I had one visit with Dr. Clay there she's an awesome dermatologist as well everyone at the office is very welcoming very friendly so I'm gonna leave like all of their information below um, to check them out if you're interested in any type of dermatology treatment so big thanks to um, dermatology Affili affiliates I would definitely be going back to get um, a facial and a chemical pill those were really um, it was really relaxing the results was really uh, great with that like my skin was so smooth so yeah chemical pills facials I'll be going back for that and if you guys have any questions for me about what my treatment was like what the process was like um, just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer all right guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye